Happy Wednesday guys and welcome to art class. Today we'll be making Kermit the Frog from Muppet Babies. So as always you're going to need a pencil, paper, and black line marker. And then today for colors we'll be using green, blue, red, and pink. Alright guys, let's get started. Hello and happy Wednesday. Today we're creating Kermit the Frog from Muppet Babies. So, Kermit will be in the middle of our paper. We'll be starting at the top of his head and working the way down creating his full body. In order to create his head, we're going to start by making an oval shape. You can also kind of think of this as like a football or a lemon. We're going to create a crescent shape. Nice and large, giving room. And then we're going to mirror that shape upside down, making it a full oval shape. Now, once we have this shape, a little bit under halfway down, we're going to put a line across, and we're going to add two smile lines or smile creases at each end of the line. Kermit's going to have an open mouth, so from one side to the other, we are going to create an open shape here, and once we have that, we're going to create a tongue by making another half circle inside of our mouth. Moving to the top of our page here, or the top of our head, we're going to put a little bit of space straight between the eyes. So if you think about having a little bit of space right at the top, straight between. But then from there, coming out and curving up, curving back down, touching the cheek on each side. Now, these two curved lines will make the top of our eye. But then we're going to bring our eye down in, overlapping our original football shape. So go over your shape and then bring a slight curve to the bottom of the eye. So now they're resting on top of our original lemon or or football shape, whatever you want to call it. Once we get that in, you can think about where the line of your top of your oval was, right in the middle of your eyes. We're going to make a line, and then we're going to put a circle straight through that line, right in the middle of that line, to create Kermit's unique eyeballs there. Alright, moving down to the body. Kermit is going to be wearing a t-shirt with an ascot over it. In order to create the t-shirt, we're going to start under our mouth, not necessarily at our smile line, but a little bit, pretty close to it. We're going to come out at an angle slightly each side, coming down, a little bit bigger than the head. That's going to create the majority of our body. The bottom of it, we're going to curve from one side to the other. Now I'm going to come down again from my head, a little bit on each side, giving myself some t-shirt arms. So we're going to cut those up pretty high up there. Those are going to be the arms to Kermit's shirt. Now, the ascot that he's wearing is going to go across his shoulders. So we're going to create a V shape. 
one side to the other. And then in the middle here, you guys can make a notch shape however you want. Mine's going to be kind of like a little sideways rounded triangle. And then from that knot shape, I'm going to go back to my shoulders, overlapping. And because they're overlapping, I'm going to erase over my uh, arms here so it looks like that shape is laying on top. And then I'm going to bring down two triangular points. Let's draw on rounded ovals here. For the front of his shirt. Next we're going to work on creating Kermit's arms. Now coming down from his t-shirt here, I'm going to come down, then I'm going to curve in to in front of the body. You can think about the line right here. This line is the other part of our arm. It's flat with the body, so we don't have to draw too much, but we are showing that it does overlap the top of the body. I'm going to put a circle at the end of that to know where my hand is. I'm going to build a thumb, pointing upward at the face. And then I'm going to build four fingers facing downward. One, two, three three, four. And remember, we're making a baby Kermit, so the fingers should not be really that big. They should look like little baby fingers. On our other arm, we're going to bring one line coming up from the outside of the t-shirt, and another one parallel to it, closer to the body. At the end of that, I'm going to make a circle too, which I'll build my hand off of. My thumb is going to be pointing downward, and then the rest of my fingers will be too. I'm going to use ovals to complete these fingers. So one, two, three, four. Just like that, building up into the body. Moving down to Kermit's lower body here. I'm going to bring down two lines, not far at all. These are going to help me create Kermit shorts. I'm going to go from one side to the other. And then in the middle, I'm going to make a line. Now, from each side of this, we're going to bring down some legs. And I'm going to start by creating a curved shape for the inside of the legs. That little bit of a curve. It's going to give our legs a little bit of a little bit of action there. We'll follow that curve on the outside of the leg, so both legs have that curve to them. And then, if you think of the heel being on the inside of your foot, we're going to angle out and down off of each one of those heels. Then I'm going to angle from the top of the foot out. And we're going to bring those feet together with some triangles. Four of them. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A little detail line. And then I'm going to go back up and add a couple last details before I color. I'm going to put lines going on the sleeves of his shirt. And I'm going to put a line going across his ascot, which I'll make blue against the white. Alright. We've got Kermit all put together here. Let's ink him. Inking is when we go over our lines, keeping the ones that we want. 
and making our picture look more finalized. Making sure I get all my shapes here. Make sure that everything that I've created to overlap is overlapping properly. Nice, fun, youthful look. I do my hands. Just use the hand details I want to keep. So you never really see the circle that we built off of originally. It's fair, but we don't really see it. Same with my legs here. Started it with one shape, but I'm going to make it feel like I was just drawing shorts. So when you do your inking and your final lines, pull out the things that you want to keep. And tighten things up, like a little more detail there on those pieces. A nice line there and on my shirt here we go all right guys we're ready to color all right guys we're all done now you guys have a lot of room to create an awesome background and when you're done with that make sure you sign your picture too i'm proud of all your awesome work today and there you have it we're all done for today i hope you guys had a great time drawing kermit with me and i can't wait to see you tomorrow for more art class until then be kind and creative and i will see you tomorrow bye bye